welcome back my name is Kayla and today I have a video for you guys on a prophetic word or declaration now before I go ahead and decree and declare to you guys I just want to say that with prophetic declarations if you don't know what it is it's speaking the heart of God declaring it but with this come into agreement with what I'm saying. Um, just because I give a declaration doesn't mean it will come to pass specifically in your life. Um, this could be for just a few of you guys. It could be for half of you guys, or it could be for all of you guys. Um, really, you know, it really depends. So, you know, come try and come into agreement with this and seek God yourself to see if, you know, this declaration is for you. Um, you know, at the end, I'll give you guys a Bible verse that goes with this. And if you start really hearing this Bible verse and um, God confirms it to you through two or three witnesses, then, you know, I would really think that this word is for you. But if God doesn't give you confirmation, then, you know, this word might not be for you. So I just encourage that you seek him and look for confirmation. Also, it's bringing forth what God is wanting to do, um, prophetic destiny, and it's speaking it so that these things can come to pass, but they don't always come to pass. You know, usually with declarations, there has to be some there's usually some sort of condition for it to, to come forth and for it to happen. Usually, not all the time, but usually there's something that you kind of have to do. In the Bible, there's the book of Jonah. And we know that with Jonah, you know, God wanted him to go to a town. I can't remember the name. He wanted him to go to a town and, and prophesy and say, you know, that God was going to destroy their town. Well, eventually he does. And at the end, you notice that he gets very upset because God didn't do what Jonah spoke to the people about. Even though God told Jonah to go and speak this specific thing, and he did, it didn't happen because the people acted there was um some conditions that had to be met for the prophecy to come true now these people didn't you know just keep doing their old sinful ways they started repenting and seeking god and crying out and because of this god showed mercy on them and he didn't do what he said he was going to do so with everything that I give you guys, every prophetic word, every declaration, there is some sort of condition majority of the time that you have to, to seek out and that you have to apply and do. I'm kind of just going to jump into this declaration now. You know, just know you need to seek God. You need to come into agreement with it, look for confirmation, and see what conditions need to be met for this to come to pass in your life, okay? So this declaration is based on God bringing blessings upon our households. So today, I'm just going to decree and declare to you guys that God is bringing salvation and blessings upon our households. Just declaring that the visitation of God is coming to our household and he is going to just release an abundance of blessings upon us and our families. And I just pray that each and every one of our family members would be divinely touched and have a great experience with the power and the presence of God. And I just break each and every hindering spirit that would try to come against us, come against our house, our property, our blessings, and our belongings in the name of Jesus. And I say that all works of darkness are bound and just speak 
an overshadowing of the Lord to come over our household to to protect us and that he would release angels to watch and guide over us our homes and our families i just pray a new day over our home and our household that in this season each and every family member would just come into a fresh and new encounter with god himself and that our family members will be saved and will be born again As it says in Acts 16, verse 31, it says, Believe in the Lord Jesus and you will be saved, along with everyone in your household. So I just decree and I declare that over you guys today, that each and every one of our family members, our house, our home, our property, our belongings, we are going to see an abundance of blessing and that God is standing watch and releasing his angels to look over us and stand guard and protect us. And that no weapon forged against us shall prosper in Jesus name. And yeah, guys, that is all. If this is helpful, like, subscribe, comment, hit the notification bell so you'll be notified each and every time I post. Share with a friend or two. It really helps out, helps, um, you know, get other people to see and view my content and just spread the word of God. Also, thank you all for donating to my ministry, all those that have. And if you have a prayer request or want to talk about something, have a question, you can comment below or you can email me. My email is below. Also, if you want to sow a good seed. I have, you know, my PayPal, Venmo, Cash App, all listed below. I appreciate you guys. I love you guys. And I'm so grateful. And I pray that you all have a great and blessed day. I'll be back as the Spirit leads. So, bye guys.